the starting of our problems started with the capture of all our institutions. We should not think that, for example, the Bank of Uganda is our bank. It is a bank of Museven, because he has captured all the institutions. The Uganda police is not a Uganda police, it's a Museven police. The Uganda People's Defense Forces is not a defense forces for us. It is a defense force. So all of these institutions were captured. Having captured the institution, the next thing that was captured was our economy, our wealth. You remember Uganda had assets, materials, goods, wealth that we owned jointly which included factories, which included banks, which included uh, uh, transport uh, companies, Uganda Airlines, Uganda Railways, Uganda Bus Company, Uganda what? All these were owned jointly by us. Uganda hotels, uh, here in the Soroti, there, there was Soroti Hotel, there was Tororo Rock Hotel, there was... Uh, uh, Mbale uh, Ergon Hotel, the Ginger Crested Cranes, uh, those Sheraton Hotels, Nile Hotel, we are all, every town had Uganda hotels, which were all our properties. Uganda Commercial Bank had a, a, a bank everywhere in Uganda. All these things were captured and taken and personalized privatized to themselves, became personal property. They said they were selling them so that they, uh, they, they, the money is used elsewhere. No Ugandan <laughs> has ever been told what became of those properties once they were sold. How much came out of it? Where is it? All of it was simply privatized to the same people. The only thing that has remained contentious is land. And in the Constituent Assembly, Mr. Museveni tried a lot to give power over land to the government that they can take over power, land. That was the only thing I think that the Constituent Assembly saved. They said no land belongs to the people. Up to now, there is an effort to change that law, but it has still failed. So now land is also being grabbed by force. 